I have absolutely no idea what game this is. I saw someone giving away keys on Twitter and being a big sucker for flight games. I decided that, hey, this is something I need to try out. Now, 303 Squadron was a British squadron during the Battle of Britain that was staffed mainly with Polish pilots. So they basically had a squadron of their own and this wasn't uncommon. There were Czechoslovakian squadron, there were Norwegian squadron, hell, even squadrons from around the Commonwealth and even the Eagle squadron with volunteer Americans. So this could be an interesting concept. I mean, going with a flight game based on this particular squadron that for some reason always seems to show up in British Nazi propaganda against Polish immigrants. So, we're just gonna click on here on new game, see what's going on here. And it's loading, at least the screen so far look really nice, really. So, I, like I said, I have no idea about this. So, RAF Northolt. Even a visit in the nearby town of Ruslip and a few pints at the local pub was our favorite thing to do. Deep inside, we felt relieved. Returning to our base, it was the closest thing to a home we all had. So, oh, we, you can walk around the airfield. This is a pretty neat thing. And I mean, if they just fill it up a bit, it can look even better. But they've done a pretty terrific work with this. I mean, we got the hurricanes here. I wonder if I can jump up on it. Oh, and even an overflight there of... Yeah, that looks like more hurricanes to me. They don't have the traditional Spitfire wing shape. But... As many squadrons during the Battle of Britain... Uh, oh god, there's a bike. Uh, the bike is a story of its own. I'm just gonna peek into the hangar, then we're gonna get on the bike, and I will tell you the story about the bike. So, we have an engineer here who seems to be working on a hurricane who pretty much seen better days. But I really like this mode. I mean, just walking around the airstrip, exploring, everything like that. So, oh, we can actually... I wonder if we can talk to the guy. Oh, we can... Can I ask you for a small favor? Okay, time for some art. Okay, so... We can apparently customize our hurricane to meet our needs. Keep uninstalling parts of the current until you reach the side opponents, which turns the station mode. So, we can actually have... Browning Mark 2s, British 303s, standard belt feed... Oh, and you can actually open and zoom in. This 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 is a cool feature right here. I don't care if it's a gimmick. I like it. So, let's see if we can't get Actually, no. We're we're just going to We're putting it back. I don't want to mess with the aircraft until I know what it is I'm doing. So, let's get on the bike. As I said, oh, not available in demo, too bad. Uh, as I said, the bike has a story of its own. And the story behind the bike is that when these Polish pilots, many of them have already flown in combat against the Nazis, uh, the British didn't think they could fly. So the British basically put them through flight training once again. And one of the ways they were asked to uh, try coordination was that they would ride bikes around the airfield and learn English ways of saying things. So they uh, would say pancake and uh, angels and stuff like that. And they would use the bikes to coordinate themselves. But let's do what the Polish did and jump into... I think we're going to start off with the arcade mode. Um, it's... I'm pretty... Uh, when it comes... Even if we kept on smiling, the vision of the horrible fights over London dragged on. 
visit of our commander-in-chief helped to lift our spirits. Receiving medals and promotion from the most important Polish officer was nothing casual. We wanted to prove he was right. So once we were ordered to fly, we felt like the richest man in the world. Okay, so we are flying now. We have a squadron here. Commander visited us. A bit of home. Huh? Yes, but it ended too soon. I might need to have a check of the key bindings here. Uh, froster up, froster down. Yeah, that's... I am happy your... Our chief had no problem accepting me. A honorary pope. Next waypoint. So, you can see at the right of the screen you have trouble, speed, everything like... I don't know how about you, but I want to earn those medals. Let's get him. Adorner 17 up ahead. 17,000 feet and closing. Let's see if we can get the guy. Let's gonna check if there are more settings I actually need to check out. Key bindings, interaction, pallet cards. Nah, that's about it. But this is early in development, so I wouldn't expect there to be that much more of it. Apparently we only have 350 rounds for our, our uh, machine guns, so... And it's 12 o'clock. Oh, crap. It was a decoy. They wanted to trick us. We'll teach them. We can do that. I'm gonna target the plane on the right flank. It's pulling up. Come on! Battle is joined. Let's see if we can't... I mean, the mouse is a bit finicky to... With, but it works. Yes. Good one. Oh, are you kidding me? An airplane kill cam. This is actually pretty neat. It's gonna be annoying in length, but I mean, that is pretty neat. Apparently, we hit the wing where ammunition was stored, and thanks to that, the wing was severed. So. We're gonna return and we're gonna take on more of these bandits. But I have to say the kill cam, uh, kill cam mechanic in a flight game is actually pretty neat. You ground him! No, we don't ground him just yet. We need to get closer on his six. We are gonna have to slow down a bit for that so we get a tighter turn. And. Watch the skies! I mean, it's a bit annoying that the camera and. And. Uh, gun sight are pretty much controlled by the, both by the mouse. So I'm actually gonna see if I can turn that off because it's really an annoying thing but no it doesn't seem like i can because the thing oh, is no. usually you want to use the gun sight to chase the chase the target and that is a bit more difficult to do when you're in this kind of situation so come on a little more <sighs> right now it doesn't feel like it's a bit of a disjointer because there is a marker to show where you're pointing the mouse to where you want the plane to go. And then there is another pointer about Keep where watch. you want to shoot. And I would prefer to just Keep have the him. camera at the six of my plane so I can align just oh, the gun sight. Come on. We are going to blow one ammo as well. I'm trying to save as much, much as, as I can, but... 
Jeszcze Polska nie zginęła. Little Klausa. Help me! Eighty four rounds left. Let's see if we can't get the gap. Good shooting. Like I said, it's a very confusing system for me, at least. Four rounds left. And I do not know if we there is a way to reload. Or get... Oh, apparently there is. Just press M and you get more ammo, so... I come back here. At least my you mates. Him. My mates are doing a good job taking down the rest of them. I, on the other hand, are failing a bit miserably with this guy. Where? Get back here, you fool! Lodale. I mean, this is very annoying. Is there no way I can actually change this? Because at some point it just becomes annoying. So gameplay, kill cam frequency, enemy indicated L, um, pitch jaw. There's no, no nothing for the camera, so uh, let's see if we can do this by... No, we can't. Looks like this is the way we have to try and do it. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Come back here. I know this must look look like I'm doing a piss poor job, and maybe I am, but stay on target. It is also very tricky to try and drag the crosshairs while at the same time trying to consider where the hell you're going with your plane. Come on. All right. Doesn't really help that my wingman just l leaves me with this guy. Just lets me take him on all by myself. I'm sincerely doubting that I'm hitting the gap. Oops. The, oh, there we go. Another reload. Apparently you don't press a button, the reload just happens. Get back. Here, you son of a fuck. Like I said, the entire thing with... It feels like I'm just struggling to get the crosshair into a certain position instead of trying to fly the plane to a certain position. And that's not good game design, at least not my opinion. Don't let go! I'll have to ask a friend of mine who's actually Polish if the dialogue is genuine enough. Maybe he'll just laugh. I don't know. Okay, so we're getting a bit help from another hurricane who pretty much looks like he's gonna put rounds into us at the same time. Come on, fuck. I mean, this is not how you do a good mouse control. Why on earth is. Come on! Oh, great, he's gonna steal the kill, ain't he? We got him. Adults know they can't win in a fair fight, so they cheat. <laughs> that wasn't enough to take us down. Yeah! 
we got five score. Let's go back to the airfield, see if we get another mission. Or not. It could be that um, there only is one mission in this demo, so I'm actually gonna just put a halt to it here. Maybe, no, wait, we're actually gonna do one more thing. We're gonna jump into our plane again. And we're gonna try the realistic mode. Maybe the realistic mode has a bit of a nicer feeling Even to it. If we kept... Ooh, yes, this is more I what I want. Yes, but it ended too soon. The Spitfire cockpit looks kinda nice. I am happy your our chief had no problem accepting me. A honorary bow. A spy, was it? Don't know how about you, but I want to earn those medals. Let's get him. We Well, we know what's gonna happen. They're gonna show up a bunch of ME 109s, so. They'll be here soon enough. Let's see if we can't take one of them directly on approach. Bandits, 12 o'clock. Here they are. Let's go for it the center. It was a decoy. They wanted to trick us. We'll teach them. Looks like they decided it was better to shoot us first. Fair enough. Yeah, this is more what I want from the game. Let's see if we can't get that 109. Get the close in and take him out. too fast for us. We can't close on him. That's it! We actually got the guy? That shouldn't have happened. That really should not have happened, but who am I to complain? I wonder if I can actually get shot down in this game. Most likely I can, but I don't really see where damage will be tallied. Let's go get the guy close to the ground, see if we can finish him off. I mean, this is observe the air. It's a bit easier doing it this way. You, the cockpit also adds to the entire experience. But I have to keep reminding myself that this is a work in progress, as the sign constantly does. And also the fact that... Um, looks like we actually got a damaged wing. And I think it, that is what currently is impairing our ability to fly. Because right now... We are having the plane. Is, it's kind of difficult to explain, but it seems to prefer to shift to the left, and that's where our damage wing is. So 
There he is. Ah, crap. I'm just gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna crash into the ground and see how well detailed that is. So full speed into the ground. Keep looking around. Ooh, mission failed. Apparently we either got shot down or uh, overstress claimed our aircraft. It's hard to tell which one. But at any rate, this game has quite quite nice details. So it's going to be interesting to follow its development and maybe even see some more of it down the road. But this has just been a first look, so thanks for tuning in and catch you guys later.